All right, my friends, what is up? Oh, we are doing, uh, this is the tail end of a, a, a 12 hour stream, actually. Uh, my subscriber, Amalek, was kind enough to put in for a big donation for four donation bonus leagues in a row, all of Esper Control. That's right, just Esper Control till the cows come home in modern. And also uh, a pretty sweet ska punk playlist. Unfortunately, now we're on the YouTubes. And um, I can't put the ska punk in the playlist in the YouTube's video because uh, then I'll get demonetized and get yelled at for copyright infringement and stuff. So unfortunately, what I'd like you to do right now is go to your iTunes, go to your Spotify, and maybe pause the video, take a few seconds, and and fire up your your best ska and punk playlist. Uh, some Streetlight Manifesto, Less Than Jake, Real Big Fish, um, Arrogant Sons of Bitches. Uh, just go nuts, you know? And um, fire it up, get it ready, then restart the video and p play. And I want you to rock out with me. We're gonna play some Esper Control. Uh, yeah, Tony Hawk 64 soundtrack works fine. So, um, that was the song Superman. I can't think of it. I have this on stuck in my head. Uh, whatever, I can't think of it. But um, anyway, so this is our our fourth iteration of the Esper deck. The previous versions were a little more like standard. We had uh, some Teferis, which were actually really really good. Some Jaces which are pretty bad, um, some Leona Sanctities. But we decided for the, the fourth iteration to go full-on, like, Flash. Um, one of the big things Amalek really, really likes is the Esper Charms. But the problem is that, like, they're not really super effective unless you are playing 110% at instant speed. Um, otherwise, it's like a clunky draw, too. You know, it's, it's fine. But if we're playing totally at instant speed, we're going to say go every single turn. Um... They're pretty sweet. So, these are the conditions I had, I had to operate under. You gotta play Esper Charm, gotta play Cryptic Command, gotta play Logic Knot, gotta play Search for Escanta. So here we are. So um, we're playing Thought Scours. Um, Thought Scour powers up our Search for Escantas, puts cards in the graveyard, powers up Tassiger, powers up our Snapcasters, of course. Uh, we have one thing twice, try and get lucky. And we also have our Win Condition. We're playing Torrential Gear Hulk. Um, of course, a lot of decks usually playing Elspeth or um, Teferi, Hero of, uh, of Dominaria, Jace the Mind Sculptor, etc., etc. Some crazy people are playing uh, White Sun Zenith. Uh, Secure the Waste, so on and so forth. We're going to to marry our Flash strategy here and just go full-on Gear Hulk. All right? Also, that gives us our one Academy Ruins, which means we have a pretty sweet like end-game plan of just like looping Gear Hulks. Should be good in longer games. We also have a Tassiger as a win condition, of course. One mana, pretty sweet. And of course our Snapcasters and a pair of Tar Pits. Um, otherwise we're just playing a lot of spot removal. Um, no Wraths in our deck besides Explosives. Because Wraths are obviously Sorcery Speed. We're trying to push this instant thing all the way to the end. So we have three Path. We have three Pushes. And we have one Hero's Downfall. It's an extra, extra catch-all. Um, we played against a lot of blue decks in our last few leagues. And we played against a lot of counter spells, And our Esper deck couldn't really deal with them. Um, one of the advantages of uh, Jeskai over Esper is that you can just lightning bolt Planeswalkers. You know, even if it, they plus the Jace to five, you can bolt and snap, snap, bolt it. You can electrolyze, bolt it. You can just find ways to deal with it. Whereas in Esper colors, it's, it's, it's kind of a lot harder. So, so um, we're playing the downfall. Um, search is going to be great in this deck. Uh, turn one, fetch, thought scour, turn two, search. Fetch land, thought scour, card, card, fetch land. Search. Could flip it on turn three if we cast a spell also. But um our search is gonna be very, very good. This card's just so good. Um mana base wise we have three colorless lands, we have two field of ruins to have a shot against Tron, and other utility lands. And we have one Academy Ruins. This card's sweet. Um gets back gear hulk, gets back explosives. Getting back explosives is pretty cool. Um otherwise, uh, a lot of fetch lands, some basics, one of each duel, and then a few uh drowned catacombs effects. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fetchable lands, which is fine. Cyborg has a lot of the usual suspects. Uh, Celestial Purge is great. Again, all, again, more skewed towards instant speed stuff. Uh, negate. We got Dispel. Three Surgical Extractions. Aside from being good, good against Graveyard decks, this is our main plan against Tron. Um, to Field of Ruin their Tron land, and then Surgical it. That's our, that's our goal. So, um, we got two clicks for combo matchups. And Tron, one Disdainful Stroke, one Anguished on Making. I'm not thrilled with this card, but I mean, it answers, it answers a lot of stuff. Uh, one Blessed Alliance. Uh, one Worm Coil is our other extra win condition. Again, very good with Academy Ruins. 
Uh, third field for Tron. Timely reinforcements. Kind of nice. And a second explosive is going to be our Wrath effect in the board. No verdicts, no wraths. Um, we're relying on our spot removal mostly. So four snaps, paths, and push and uh, pushes. So we'll see. So um, so far of all the Esper lists we've played so far, we've been going like three two three two two three or whatever. Um, this is the one that excites me the most. I feel like this is the one that has the most potential. Although I did like to fairy hero of Dominaria a lot. Um, I think if you want to play Esper Charm, you're probably not playing it in the same deck as Teferi. So if you're hyped for this deck, get going in chat. Let me see a little, uh, some emotes and stuff rolling. And let's go here. We got a great audience, 300 viewers. Give yourselves a hand of being awesome. Let's go. Leroy Drinkers. Leroy, what are you doing? At least I got chicken. All right, let's go. I like it. Esper time. And you better be rocking out to your playlist right now, all right? Because we've been, we've been jamming pretty hard to a um, lot of ska punk. You got it, really? Excellent. You got to help me out here. Like, I can show you the playlist if you want, what we were rocking out to. We had uh, Arrogant Sons of Bitches, really good ska band from Long Island, Big Demon Kids Table, Rancid, Streetlight, Choking Victim, The Oops, Yum Yuckers, another Long Island band, more Streetlight, uh, Rehasher, No Effects, more Rancid, lots of Rancid, lots of Rancid, PLMB, my band, my old band, Pennywise, more PLMB, my old band, go look us up, Op Ivy, load it all up, get it ready to go, all right, let's go. Melvin... All right, let's go. I'm feeling this one. I'm not going to lie. I have a little bit of a soft spot for Think Twice, so we're going to keep... I feel invested in this in this deck. Yeah, you, Melvin. Sammy and Burnsy are invested, too. Well, Sammy is. Burnsy doesn't care. Blooming Marsh... Okay, so we're missing our rats a little bit already. That's okay. Snap caster me. What the hell is that? <laughs> Burnsy says, think twice is the goat. Burnsy's sleeping, actually. I'm going to go wake his ass up. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, okay. I get it. I understand. It's rude, but I understand. Nettle Sentinel. Sure. Even with Cavern Souls and stuff, this match should still be very good for us. We're just playing a million fatal pushes and stuff, you know. All right, Dwen's Elite. Sure. Snapcaster, Path to Exile. Okay, that's good. Imperial troops have entered the base. Imperial troops have entered. Gotta find explosives. This will get us into the blue bracket for sure. They just don't like the wheel that much. Gerbils just tend to not really like the wheel that much. Don't judge them. Heritage Druid. Alright, so that's fine. Make a bunch of mana, do your thing. Like, they have to respect us having Verdict next turn, obviously, so they can't go too crazy here, right? All right, this is a pretty good Spell Snare. We lose the ability to uh, Esper Charm, but this is, like, a pretty pretty big Spell Snare. Could also Path Heritage Druid um, to deny them the ability to play more stuff this turn. Um, they have three cards left. Um, then we can snap path a relevant threat. Yeah, maybe just let it. Two, two, one, one, one. So you have two snapcasters to fight through. Block these two. 
some ones. I think it's fine. Visionary is surprisingly good against us. It's weird they wouldn't attack or make mana before they did that, but sure. It's his turn three. They had two uh they had two cards left. Dribbles are great. Pathing, this is why push is so much better than path early. Like I would I don't want to cast path here. I'd love to cast the push. They have basically infinite mana though. I'm just gonna hit the Nettle Sentinel. This sucks. We have snap for a future thing. They have infinite mana. We need to preserve our life total a little bit because we actually don't have wraths in our deck. We just have the one explosives. So Golden Demise, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a little awkward at the moment, but I mean, our cryptic's not going to be great anyway, so... So we could snap here. I think we're just gonna let this it's two, three, four, five, six. Could snap, path, block, and then at the end of they play like an Azuri or something, we're just in big trouble. We're just gonna let this happen. Probably draw two off Esper Charm and try and find our explosives. Things if you snap, path, and block, we're just at the mercy of their of their uh their good stuff. So now we have the option of Esper Charming them or us. They have two cards in hand. It is likely they are good. Because they haven't actually played a good card yet, really. But drawing two allows us to try and find explosives or more removal spells and stuff. We honestly probably need to find explosives to have a chance to win. There's just so many crappy 1-1s. One um, they just also obviously have two spells in their hand because they have only played three lands. Like, our best chance to win... So we, next turn we can snap path. Take five. This is tough. This is a pretty tough, tough choice here. Their two cards are good. If we can't beat them anyway... We might need to, like, discard their two and draw explosives or push. We could fog for the blue source, sure. I guess we'll draw. I'm not thrilled about this. Okay. That's not bad. That plays reasonably well. High five, Sammy. High five. High five. Come here. High five. High five. Yeah. High five. All right. Um, so now we're going to explode on one. One, explode, have push available also. Oh, actually, that's pretty good too. We can snap charm. Yeah, let me, let me think for a second here. We can snap tar charm and just cut their hand off, block the one the wins elite, and wipe the rest of the crap up. Um, I kind of like that actually. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna fetch a blue. I like this. Snap charm, mine rot, block the 2 2, untap explosives with, with push up. We have no life gain. 
Um, that may be correct. I mean, they're playing off the top here. You know, like, if they draw a company and kill us, it's whatever, you know? They have two spells in their hand, and we're doing what we can do to make sure we uh, they can survive. The Shaman of the Pack, Arshruit. So, my read was correct. They had all good cards in hand. And they draw company, obviously. Why wouldn't they draw company? And they hit Shaman of Pack. All right, whatever. <laughs> That's really shitty. All right. Um, we're going to want explosives, worm coil. Timely is pretty good. Uh, dispel. Yeah, pretty lame. Not going to lie. Um, we're going to want to cut some of our counter spells for sure. Spell snare is pretty mopey. So is Logic Knot. So is Cryptic. Cryptic can at least tap, which is fine. Um, Logic Knot does a good job at countering Company, which is probably which is pretty nimble to cast. I don't mind like this. Let me have two Knot, two Cryptic. Oh, the Negate's still in here. I gotta get rid of the Negate, I think. Cryptic's probably better. Downfall's pretty bad too, but like I think this is better than like the fourth Cryptic or something. You know, they just have Cavern of Souls. Um, I just want all the removal that we can get. This is good. I'm pretty happy here. Um, this is my my take on Amalek's love for Esper Charm. Dot Scour powers up. Search for Escanta, Snapcaster Mage, Torrential Gear Hulk, and Tassiger. And we have one thing twice. So it's fine. Just a nice, nice little curve here. Not often the control that curves out, but. A fungal infection? That would be cool to snap that back, yes. I will kill actual anything. Esper Charm to the rescue, I suppose. Also makes our explosives really good. Just wait longer. Nettle Sentinel. Heritage Druid. Engineered explosives, please. Lingering Souls would not be good in this deck. It is a... That's pretty good, honestly. Lingering Souls is a slow, clunky sorcery. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. I think we have to just kill this uh this sanctuary. I'm actually pretty interested in Timely. It actually does a really good job of just like gunking up their crap. Um but yeah, we gotta kill this shank this sanctuary. Um We're gonna keep it, we're not gonna cast it though. We're just gonna say go. Chamber Sanctuary is really, really good. It really takes advantage. We this deck was playing like four verdicts before, like three verdicts or whatever. And we're now focusing on spot removal, which obviously makes this card very good. Elvish Champion. Sure. Hey, Timely's sweet. I like Timely. Land. Done. Alright, so now we timely. Feels pretty good here. Land of War Elfos, sure.
I card's great. We're getting Goblin Ringleader, folks. It only Archdruid. Company, company, land, Archdruid. So this is pretty good for us. I only have one Watery Grave. That's super awkward. Oh, wait, no, we're fine. Eh, kinda. Sorta, not really. They are shoving. So... We have to get Godless Shrine or Swamp if we want to kill the Archdruid right now. Hmm. We have uh, two check lands. It's possible we should have a second Water Grave in our deck. It might be a deck building error. We're still just going to do it. Um, we're going to double up on the Druid. And we're going to Fatal, fatal Push the, uh, the Archdruid. Yeah, Gallus Ryan, Swamp is all we have. Alright, that might be a, a deck building error. This is still not that bad for us. Uh, Spell Snare, Bin. Ho ho ho. Well, now I feel dumb we didn't uh, just keep the stupid 3 drop in play. But they have 3 ones in play. This is pretty good for us. Um. Yeah, this is this is this is cool. I'm a pretty big explosives fan, I'm not gonna lie. So they have one, two, three, yeah. So they have a three three and a two two. We are very close to flipping our search, which is great because we have Gear Hulk and Cryptic. Um they only have two cards left. They're now a little short on mana. Can't even cast company, but now there's two companies at the bottom of their deck regardless, so. Yeah, I just block with three because whatever. In case I miss or something. What's up, my friends? If you're just tuning in, welcome. Ugh. Zuri, eh? Snapcaster Mage. That's really awkward. Um, Obviously... Fatal Push can't kill anything in play right now. And we want to flip as Kanta, but kinda can't. If obviously obviously we can if we keep the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, without a way to if we had a fetch line in our hand, I would keep this, but I think we're gonna bin it and just flip search and have Cryptic available and Gear Hulk available. Once we get the Gear Hulk in, we can kill Azuri, have a five six and win the game. So we're going to bend this. It sucks, but that's life. Also, draw a land here. Yeah, it's cool. All right, cool. That was perfect. All right. We're great. Life's good. Everything's awesome. I have my Scott playlist playing in my head. You guys better have it too. Yeah, Search for Ascanta is very, very good in this deck with our Thought Scours and stuff. Yes, this obviously works out great. What the fuck happened? My stop is... My stop... I must have hit my stop by accident. The Declare Attacker stop is off because I have it unlocked. That's such a tilt. Magic Online is so frustrating sometimes, you know? Alright, well... Alright. 
Taking five, then to four, taking six. We can't do that. We gotta block. That sucks. That's so annoying. We can definitely. Like, are we gonna are we gonna just search here instead? Is it this is like turning off our gearhawk plan? Maybe. Oh, I'd want to leave leave cryptic up then, and that's if that's the case. All right, whatever. This is fine. Let's go to seven. We'll see what they do. We have cryptic available. Counterbalance is also pretty nice. Heritage Druid. It's like so bad. I don't even want to deal with it. I guess it's like fine. But if they if we counterbalance Azuri and they just uh they just have a um a, what's it called? A land it's pretty awful for us. Six block. Yeah. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Had better cryptics, but this is fine. Pretty frustrating that we couldn't just do the play we wanted to do because we uh didn't have our stop set properly because I misclicked it. Think twice. Alright, I mean still hopefully okay. Well, I know one thing. They definitely won't think we have Gear Hulk in our hand. <laughs> For many reasons. Yeah, it's it's set. I'll, I'll, I'll lock the little thingy. I must have hit it by accident at some point. It's pretty annoying. It's a stop I always have set. Hello, friend. Do love me some torrential gear hulks, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, fatal push. So they okay, sure. So they they regen both, that's fine. So that's good because like that means they have no other play, which is fine. So we take two, we go to four, and then we're in pretty good shape. What's up, lunch man? Awesome. Budget friendly modern deck. Honestly, you're looking at it. This elf deck's a pretty it's a pretty reasonable deck. I mean Ross just top aided a the the open with it. And I think it's a pretty pretty solid budget deck. Alright. This is fine. We have to like tap team or repulse. These are all fine things. Elvish Arch Druid. All right, so we can like counter draw block. It doesn't work. Counter counter bounce Elvis champion. That works for me. Yeah, Storm is also reasonably cheap. Um, Hard to play though. That's a tough first deck if it's your first deck. Alright, we are grinding. Um, I think we're in the market for an Azkanta activation. Sweet. Awesome card counter, Chris. 
Yeah, I agree. We might just scour them. All right, there's the other champion. Let's take a look at what we're, uh, we're dealing with here. Uh, we're going to search for Escanta in response. Logic Knot, Fatal Push, Fatal Push. Those are all pretty good. Obviously, we're going to reveal whatever we get. I think I almost want to just get the Logic Knot and then keep these pushes in my deck. Although, putting a push in the graveyard is actually really good for Snapcasters. But we also have Thought Scour. Uh, we're going to push the Champion, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll buy that. And an Elvish Mystic. Okay. Go to three. Think twice. Push Elvish Champion. We're at three. Keep it on grinding. That's tilt. All right. Let's thought scour them. Warm coil engine. Hello. Um, how do you do? Well, well, what have we here? All right. Let's play this stupid elf and kill me, I guess. Could definitely have it for sure. It's not unlikely they have it. Yeah. Oh, no, leave Stampede. No! They have a land? I mean, other option is, like, just leaving up Escanta and, like, just hoping we draw something. I mean, the problem with Fury is, card counter, Chris, that, like, you just tend to flood if you have too many cantrips that don't, like, do anything as far as, like, filtering. So. So I assume they don't, they don't have a land here. I had been pretty sad to lose this game. We've worked pretty hard this game. Okay, so they have... They have a lot of stuff. They're playing everything. We got some we got some work to do, friends. Yeah. Wait, they didn't put that doesn't matter. Alright. I mean This is our life. It's ending one minute at a time. They have, they're dealing us eight next turn, so we're we're basically dead. We just got a hit here. Esper charm, Esper charm, Esper charm. Is that good enough? We gain six, block, take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. We're uh really uh playing it close to the vest here. If they draw a company, we have that covered too. Or a core or something. Go to nine. You discard. Goodbye. They drew another Shaper Sanctuary. Okay. So they mush here. We block. The two, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're at one. We're also turning the corner here. Like we, we're like we had a, a tar pit in play, they'd be dead. Logic not. So now we go to six. We block here, and they attack for exactly six. So we still need help. Actually, just play defense. Block, block. Yeah, it's only four. All right. 
Let's keep looking. Thought Scour. Alright. Catamarans is now on the bottom of our deck. So we can Thought Scour ourselves. Path to Exile. That'll play. Alright, so now I think the game's just locked up. We attack, go to six, they attack, we block, path, take four, and counter whatever they play. Pretty sure with logic not and path, this is uh this is all uh all wrapped up here. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good for us. This is good. Warm coil engine. Doing some work. I like this card. Don't fetch. We can fetch now. We made it. We made it to the promised land. We turned the corner. Corner turned. Cool. Cool. Explosives is great. Um any thoughts here on anything else? We are a little light on life gain, honestly. We should play um play uh Raph Brannigan or whatever. And play our worm coils at instant speed. That'd be pretty cool. It's not. It's not Raph Brannigan, is it? All right. This is fine. It's possible we want Blessed Alliance over Spell Snare. I don't know. Spell Snare seems fine. No, I think Alliance. Like Alliance is really bad. Alliance is literally just like kill a token. We got to keep this. Explosives, search. Raf Brannigan. Could also just die on turn three here, but. Shaper Sanctuary? Oh. One lander? Oh my god, opponent. Opponent. I, I almost feel bad for you. I almost pity the fool. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. My card's good, but it's about to be a ladder or elf, so. Fatal push. I think we actually bin this. Um we have snap we have snapcaster mage. I really want to make land drops. Like it's really imperative. And it just makes my it turns my snap on anyway. I'm gonna bin this. Attention all one mana permanence. Your presence is requested in the graveyard. Thank you. So now I'll draw fetch land. Island. Island is still good. Um I can buy island. Now we have Cryptic or Snapcaster, block something, push something. Elvish Champion. Okay. 
This is ideal if they attack. Didn't attack. Okay. Um, maybe we should counter that, actually. I was so locked in on them attacking and me just snapping and killing it. I wish it we should have Cryptic there. Cryptic bounce Arch Druid. That's okay. Um, they have three cards left. Yeah, we'll draw two. Gear Hulk. Another Fatal Push. No Revolt, though. Could double up. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep that. Push, snap, push. Oh, wait, we're going to kill this uh, Heritage Druid. Yeah, a counterbalance would have been a lot better. That was a mistake. Another Elvish Arch Druid. This makes it so my snap push can't actually kill something. I'm okay with uh, countering this. Logic not. Uh, they have no mana floating. Now we draw a land, it's great. We don't draw a land, it's great. Fetch land is awesome. We could snap push here. Um, hey, we're we're like Gear Hulk. What's snap? What's Gear Hulk push? We should have killed the archer, but the biggest thing in play possible. Um, yeah, whatever. Sure. Cool. We did it. You're sitting and welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. This is the accumulation of over nine hours of Esper streaming. For Amalek, I kind of like what we have here, actually. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit. Our deck is leaner. Our deck is quicker. I like explosives a lot. Um, this is great. So if you're just tuning in, make sure you follow the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Don't be shy. Say hi in chat. Hit that follow button. Don't forget also to follow me on Twitter. There I am. A lot of fun stuff on Twitter, at Jim Davis MTG. My goal for this year is 10,000 Twitter followers. We're a little behind. Um, we're actually ahead of our goals on YouTube and Twitch. My goals for the year were uh, on Twitch was 20,000 followers. Right now we're like almost 19, so we're way ahead of that one. My YouTube goal was 10,000. We're like going to be there like tomorrow because you guys are so awesome on YouTube. Keep, keep doing what you're doing on YouTube, right? But um, Twitter's a little behind, so go uh, go follow me on Twitter at Jim Davis MTG. Follow my squad too, Team BCW, Team underscore BCW. We're a good squad, we're a great squad. Let's go, Johnny Hot Sauce. This is um Andrew Shrout, who always plays Storm, or usually plays Storm. We're gonna keep. Is Settle too clunky? Um, yeah. Yeah, I know, Emma. Like, you're getting, you're getting your values worth. I was right, Storm. They sky, if they scry top top, we'll target them. Top bottom is going to target us. Explosives push, sure. Hands not great here. If you don't have a Twitter, it is the year 2018, you should get one. You don't have to tweet if you have a Twitter. You can just use it to check the news from your favorite Magic players and whatever other things you follow. For example, on Twitter, I follow Magic players and Magic stuff. And I also follow a lot of fantasy hockey stuff. I do fantasy hockey. And that's basically it. Uh, they went bottom, bottom. So sure. So we're going to fetch... So we're going to Thought Scour ourself. We hit a Think twice. And then we're going to fetch Shock, Thought Scour us again. Okay, there's Academy Ruins, which is like whatever.
Once again, you don't have to post on Twitter. Just because you have a Twitter doesn't mean you're going to be on there vague booking at four in the morning, you know? Like... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So uh, Shroud assumed it was Shaheen. Obviously, we're blank Esper. Shaheen Serrani, of course, Esper aficionado. Um, I like drawing here. We could make them discard, but I'd rather just play with my own cards. I agree. Snapcaster needs, needs to get in play uh, pretty quickly. Double. All right. Well, we got to draw some spells here, all right? We could um could snap like Thought Scour, just like get it in play a turn earlier, but Now our opponent is not Shaheen. Our opponent is Andrew Shroud. They think we're Shaheen, so we're playing on the SG account. Gonna go for the old ritual end step gifts. We'll have to decide how we want to respond to that. I would say this is not okay. If I had to quantify. I mean, they have far too many cards for us to for attacking the hand to be profitable. Like they just had a full seven cards in hand, you know? Yeah, we're running out of uh, fetchable lands. You've drawn many, 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 many lands. Spell Snare's a good one. I like that one. Um, I can field here. So that, was, that Lodging Knight was a nice little two for one. We got a Ritual and a Gifts off of it, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll see what they do here. If they just play a land and say go, we get to be a little scared of Gifts, but we get Esper Charm and draw some more cards. Hey, Murph. Seriously, I say this from the bottom of my heart. The only thing better than a new sub is a returning sub. Thank you for your your continued support. You awesome. Everyone show some love in chat for our, our returning sub. Two months. You know, I've had I've had probably over a thousand unique different subs over the last year or two, but the ones who come back are the are the are the best ones. So thank you so much. No land. I think being we could be mildly concerned about a remand here. So maybe we just think twice. I don't know. Like, if they remand the Esper Charm, it's, like, kind of lame, but I guess it's fine. No, we're not mind rotting. Yeah, I want, I want to draw cards. I want to play with my own cards. Remand here is annoying. Yeah, they have it. Alright. So, like, that's pretty annoying. We still have our, um... Our Think Twice. We have, um... Pressure on the board now, which is important. So... Could have maybe waited or just flashed back Think Twice, but... Right, it seems extremely likely they have it there, but that, that is one less Remand for us to fight through um, when they're comboing. They can like re remand their own spells and stuff, and like it can, it can get pretty annoying. So, think twice, not once. Good draw. Okay, we're gonna fetch here. Oh wow, never mind. We are almost out of basics. We're almost out of lands. We have almost all of our lands. Well, Having milled some and now uh, drawn a bunch of them. Spell Snare is actually pretty good in this matchup, so I'm pretty happy to have these. Would love to have that Tassiger. 
or perhaps a Vendillion click. So we have Swamp Plains in our deck for our Field of Ruin. The cast gifts here, we're going to counter it. It's funny, I recall Shrout being on the pro ghosting side of things, so I wonder if he's watching right now. Not pro, like, I'm going to actively ghost, but, like, that ghosting isn't necessarily, like, evil. Because you're choosing to broadcast yourself and your opponent on the internet without their convict without their consent. Eh. Just pitch a card from our graveyard. Let's pitch two. Because they have spirit guide or something stupid. We have a million, a million cards in our graveyard. I'm not really worried about anything. As far as that regards. The music is gonna be on your iTunes or Spotify. We've been we've been cranking it the whole stream. But for this very, very last league, we're recording it for YouTube, and we have uh, copyright concerns, so we can't uh, can't keep that one up, unfortunately. All right, so here's Electromancer. Um, we're gonna spell snare here. The uh, if we try and path it, they can cast all our spells in response. So. Aphidian, I would say. Expressing support for ghosting and disdain for streamers is a little far. I think he was playing devil's advocate a little bit, and I don't think his argument is completely unsound. Um, he's basically saying that, like, listen, maybe someone doesn't want to be watched playing magic, magic you know? And by streaming, I'm broadcasting them playing magic. It's sort of like I'm sitting there for round three of an open, and I'm like, you know what? My friend's just going to film this and broadcast it on the internet. I'm not going to ask your permission. I don't care if it's okay with you. You know? It's a little bit different, obviously. There's, there's no face and stuff, but it, it is a thing, you know? God, dude, just draw so many lands. It's not like a, a rock-solid, like, oh my god, what a, what a genius, you know? But, like, he does have a point, you know? I still think Ghost thing is stupid. I don't, like, he's wrong, but I think his point is valid and intelligent. Shroud's a pretty smart guy. He is, um, he's very good at articulating his thoughts. All right, so now we're at it again. Um, I honestly think we have to just counter this too. Like, we're kind of feigning that we have uh, a little more help here. I don't know what tweet it was. All right, we really need to draw a spell. That's the last basic in our deck. I mean, this is actually just ridiculous. We can't field because we have no basics left. We have one planes left. Also, fielding them there gives them the extra mana for gifts. We couldn't do it there. We haven't really had an opportunity to do it yet. Um... Okay, so yeah, I mean, just fire away here. What's in the bottom of our deck right now? I don't recall. Right, Master Dimension, very good point. You can't really cite the terms of service as being giving permission to, for someone to to be broadcast because the terms of service don't don't deny I mean don't forbid ghosting either so it's a lot of lands we have 11 lands in play it's turn 9 all right so i believe we are dead we will F6 and see if uh, Andrew can figure it out. It's pretty lame, honestly. Our hand was pretty good.
Gonna end up with I still brawl and play. One blue floating, two cards left. If his hand is Ritual Passing Flames, this shouldn't be taking so long. Alright, so we just put the Rituals in the graveyard, right? Like, just hope he doesn't have enough mana. He's going to have four. Five of Mana Morphos. I think, yeah, I think you're a little short here, yeah. Metamorphos. Oh, can have six mana. Why well, do I think that... Six, four, two. Yeah, we're just dead. I, I missed a... The, we, we, we gave the mana morphos. I, I miscounted a mana. We're just dead. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to not to not survive there. Reveal hand. Now, he had the mana morphos in from the cards we gave him. All right, so... We should be fine here. Bring in two clicks and explosives. Negate, stroke, dispel, surgicals, take out. I should get a little light on answers to uh, our second explosives. I guess that's fine. Maybe two answers to uh, empty. Here's downfall, path, path. Probably just path, honestly. Our spell snare is going to do most of the heavy lifting there. Uh, Tassiger's pretty good. It was five to cast. I mean, four to cast. It was, we put it in their hand. There was enough. Wonder if he's on Blood Moon. I mean, think twice is think twice is okay. I don't. I, I want to do all my stuff on the end step. So, um, honestly, Gear Hulk isn't great. We have a lot of cards here. Cryptic Command is actually not great here. It is pretty expensive. I almost wouldn't mind cutting like two Cryptics and a Gear Hulk to lower our curve a bit. Um. I don't mind cutting a Field of Ruin either, honestly. Let's go to 24 la 23 lands. We don't make our land drops, though. Gotta cut two more. Maybe cut the... Maybe we don't want, it, don't want the stroke. Yeah, we have enough counter spells. Maybe we should cut all the cryptics, actually. I think I'm cool with that. Yeah, that looks better, actually. Um... And then we'll try and fetch basics when we can. I don't want to shave a land. We only have 24, and we got to make our land drops. All right. I mean, the thing is, you could also just empty. At the point he's casting Passing Flame, it might be too far. Too far gone to matter, so... If I'm not back in five minutes. What's up, man? Cool. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure you follow the stream. Thank you. Push Delta. Watery Grave. Kinda wanna fetch a basic planes. 
So... Dark Juggalo, don't be, don't be sorry you're late. You may, you may come and go as you please, my friend. Um... Uh, we are one and zero. This is my favorite version of a deck by a mile so far. All right, we're just gonna say go here. Just snap thoughts, Gower. The dishes are done. Thank you, Toots. Everyone give Nicole a really, really big, uh, big round of applause. Uh, Nicole's been out of work for about two or three months now. Um, she busted her ankle up. Nicole's a bartender, and she's been home since then, obviously. And she's been like helping out. Like obviously, me and Nicole both work and both share responsibilities around the house because she's been out of work and get, getting you know workers' comp. It isn't much money compared to what she usually makes, and I'm working a lot more. She's been just like putting putting everything on her back. She gets up with John most days for school. This is aggressive. Um, she, uh, she's been, like, hooking in and cleaning and stuff and just, like, making it so I can just stream and not think about anything else and kind of just keep working and working. I've, I've worked on some really long days. Um, yesterday I coached for six hours and I streamed and I wrote an article. No, that was, that, was, that was Wednesday. Wednesday I wrote an article and coached for six hours. And then yesterday I streamed a lot, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not complaining, but I'm just, like, I've been pretty busy and she's been awesome. So everyone show some love for Nicole in chat. Um, all right. This is fine, I guess. This is a blood moon. No, it's empty. This is pretty aggressive. Um, okay. I wouldn't hate seeing their hand, honestly. <laughs> so you know what the hell's going on here. This is a pretty aggressive play. Um, we have two explosives in our deck. I'm mostly doing this just to see their hand. Their hand is wrong ritual and oh, terrible. All right, um, they have wipe away pieces of the puzzle, another empty, two grape shots, and metamorphose past in flames. This also makes their gifts worse. Okay, this is all fine. No blood moons. But we're still gonna fetch the planes anyway, so. Definitely hurts our ability to clock them. I'm not interested in casting another surgical. Actually, they do, they do have the uh, other metamorphose in their hand. Um. Yeah, actually, we're just going to do that. So they have Ritual, Empty, Gifts, Past, and Flames. Nintendo Chalmers? 
I don't like taking empty. Oh, they have, they have an empty in their hand too, right? Oh, right. Yeah, I, I didn't even. I saw the one. Usually they play two. I didn't see if it can like it didn't consider a third in their hand. Uh, I think this is fine though. We're gonna be a little defensive here. Uh, we're one and a with with this version of a deck. Pieces of the puzzle. God, what a good draw! All right. Yeah, another piece of the puzzle and a remand. Oh my god, what a sick draw. Delta needs to go into our hand. Pieces, 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 remand, gifts, empty, past in flames, ritual, X. It's a lot of stuff. They can resolve the gifts if they want it. Oh, we fetch, push. You flip search for Escanta. We're definitely pretty uh, hard up on explosives here. We are at nine. This is pretty, pretty tenuous. We snap push. They can cast gifts in response. Also, we lose a card from our graveyard for our search. Yeah, I think we're just going to just push, fetch. How many bears after sideboarding? All of them. Six. Yeah, the deck wants a second watery grave for sure. Delta in the graveyard. No. Because that will allow us the ability to gear hulk. Um... At a cost. Wait, yes, we do. Yes. Negate's good. We're gonna snap push. We would leave up negate and logic knot. Can remand this if they want to, but at this point, bleeding stems, two counter spells in hand. All right, it's fun. It's a pretty aggressive remand, but all right. If you missed it, we played Cuphead earlier today. I do a show called the John and Jim Show with my stepson John, who's uh, who's seven. He's been dying to play this game Cuphead, and uh, today was our first John and Jim show of Cuphead. So there we are. Video will be up on YouTube. Check it out. It's pretty fun. Usually we play retro games. Usually we're playing uh, games like you know NES games and Sega and stuff like that. But we're doing a little Cuphead. He's pretty stoked about it. That video will be up up on YouTube soon. Andrew is very, very good at this deck. I think Andrew's played this game exceedingly well. Like that empty for four on turn two was just backbreaking.
Gear Hulk that with what? We had no counter spells in our graveyard. John Jim shows on sporadically. Once I once we move, my schedule is actually going to be a schedule. It'll probably have a set time, but now it's just kind of whenever he's good in school and we have time. So it's probably just an, another mini empty. It's actually pretty good. We're going to get a few looks at our, our explosives here. So, there's Desperate Ritual, Gifts is gone. Heh, <laughs> Darth Juggalo, you can set it up, I'm down. Alright, we have two explosives, let's find them. We got looks. Surgical, surgical, thought scour. Yeah, I think that you were right, Amalek. I should have taken the uh, the empty the Warrens. I agree. Um, I think you're right. I just I just forgot it was in their hand. I just kind of like glazed over it. Um, it's got to be next turn. There really is no other way. We have no way to really interact with their. I guess we can surgical gifts. Alright, well, we gotta find a uh, explosives, I guess, so let's find it. Nope. Alright. That's fine. I mean, Andrew played well. Obviously, game one, we should have won. We, we drew 100 million lands, and I think we were fine, but... Taking Metamorphose before Pyretic? I mean, like, without a, without a dude, Metamorphose doesn't help him go off, you know? Like, that's that's a little that's a little tough. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Um, maybe... I'm not sure. That was, that was a tough game. I'm not really sure. Truth be told. I think I definitely, once I saw the empty in their hand, which I should have just taken it. I mean, yeah, I mean, I get that it replaces itself, but it's also not a ritual. It's not, it's not plus mana, unless you have a creature in play. I think we're reasonably well keeping their creatures out of play, but that's fine. Like I said, I think with any reasonable hand, we, we win game one. So, okay, this is fine. Take Thought Scour over Surgical, because we, we would have to draw a land to be able to even do that. And, like, if we hit the EE, the Surgical means we can probably win no matter what, whereas otherwise they can... I mean, maybe we can, maybe we can interact with them. I don't know if we can actually win or not, but if we don't take Surgical, they just kill us the next turn with the EE. Unclaimed territory. Okay. 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 Human. 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 Oh. Human. Fatal push. Yeah, I think I'm about it. Ah, oh, I, I screwed up. I got the wrong land. God damn it. Should have been a watery grave. Have logic not, obviously. That's, yeah, that's pretty bad. Because now we... Alright, no land? Sure. And eh, Delta. Mm, they missed land for one more turn. They're just dead. Now we're in trouble, because uh, now they have five five spells in hand. That's not bad. Push, Tassiger, draw land. I mean, 
Thought Scour does have its downsides. It obviously just draws you a random card and bins some cards, and definitely has the opportunity to go awry. I'm not Esper Charming their hand. They have four cards in hand. Our cards are better than theirs. Let's just draw kill spells and kill them. You get, you're obsessed with Mind Rots. Mind Rot is occasionally good. It's only usually good, though, if it gets all of their cards. All right, so this is a little awkward. Um, we'll need to fetch a duel if we want to... Uh, fetch a duel if we want to... Logic Knot, or, or, or I mean Cryptic Command next turn. Or either, I suppose. Okay, so we'll knot that one up. Um, we'll take the shock. If only we could shock and raise that Dassinger, sure. All right, so we got a seven here with a downfall in hand, Esper Charm, Cryptic Command. Even just counter bounce the champion, like their next play is pretty great. So I'd say we're pretty, pretty well suited here. Field like everyone ain't bad either. Pre combat champion of the parish. So. We can't bounce then. So just replay it, obviously. We can counter tap. Um, we can also just downfall the the other champion. Counter draw puts us way too low. Hmm. We really need to draw a Snapcaster or a cheap removal spell. Hmm. Let this resolve. Downfall the champion. And then take two from Lieutenant and go to five. And then untap. Again with Cryptic in a similar scenario. Hmm. I mean, his counter tap is not attrition. Counter tap is just like a one for one. So. I think we're going to let this resolve. We can set up for Cryptic next turn, and then set up for an Esper Charm draw some good cards turn. Okay. So they're, playing, they're playing around Snapcaster. That's good. That's actually great for us. That's the thing I probably should have considered but didn't. Hero's Downfall. Modern Staple. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Wow. Okay. Thought Scour again. Okay. I mean... I'm kind of wishing we had some lightning helixes, but tough devouring abyss. Yeah, we've been on for ten hours. Ten hours. You've been enjoying yourself so far in this ten-hour stream. Whatever part you've watched, Esper, John and Jim show, Jess guy earlier, put a Mister Destructoid in chat. Meddling mage. That's not going to resolve. Uh, here. They drew one drop, we take five. Counter bounce Thalia's lieutenant. It's terrible. Counter draw also has four shots at drawing a push or a path. Two in our graveyard is kind of bad. All 
Alright, we're casting Cryptic Command. Our mode is going to be I guess counter tap buys us counter taps like gain three. Is gain is three life worth a card? The problem is it, it's possibly five life. We don't we're not sure. Yeah, I'll counter tap. I'm not thrilled about this, but <sighs> Okay. Search for Escanta. Okay, we need, need a little help here. Um, Esper Charm, we can cast Snapcaster Mage. Blue, black, or white. Yeah, let's draw two. No. Okay, well, we might just die. Come on. All right, I mean, if we're dead, we're dead. God bless him. I mean, we're seeing a little bit of the uh, the Thought Scour effect here where you you uh, you Thought Scour and just, just drawing a random card. You just draw a lot of land sometimes. We survive this turn, we might be okay. Also, like in all these cards here, if we had mill our, our, our explosives, that have been sweet. Maybe it like, wants two explosives, honestly. What's up, Ants guy? Hi, Burnsy. Hi, Sammy. They're being lazy. They don't like their wheel. They keep burying it. See? It spins. See? You go inside of it, and you spin. Oh my god, are we dead? Took them that long to kill us? Two, four, yeah, we're just dead. That's exactly seven, right? What the hell took so long? That's so rude. Pretty rough. Pretty good matchup. I mean... Kind of shitty again. Like, it's possible Thought Scour just sucks. Um, I'm willing to admit that fact. It's been pretty bad so far. We have just bricked off a drone a million lands now a number of times. I like Purge. I like this stuff. I want to lose the Negate. Spell Snare is fine. Logic Knot is bad. Crypto Command is tenable, but not great. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Oof. This should be a good matchup. Alright. Keep. I mean, if we just drew any spot ripple spell that game, we won. You know, like, if we don't really need a sweeper that game, we should need one kill spell or one snapcaster mage, which our deck is just full of, but... Visions? Visions is alright. Yeah, I mean, well, again, this is this is an experiment. This is Amalek. We've been playing Amalek's... God damn it. Nice spell snare, idiot. Um... We've been playing Amalek's Esper decks uh, for the last two days, and now we're um, experimenting with uh, a very Flash-based build. I don't know if I would ever register for card Esper Charm in a tournament, personally, but Amalek wants to see Esper Charm done, and I feel like this is probably the best way to do it. Um, Alright, so... We're just going to push here. Like explosives is very good, and it is it is very very cool with um with academy ruins. Giving them the boot, okay. All right, we'll thought scour ourselves in response. Timely, 
Explosives, we did it. Cool. Okay. Got to get a blue-white land. Correct. I'm not playing music so I can post on YouTube. I gave specific instructions. We've been rocking out to my ska punk playlist for the entire stream. Um, all 11, 11 plus hours of this. We can't have music because of YouTube, but I implore all of you when I started the stream to build a great playlist. Pause, this, pause the video if you're watching it on that. Otherwise, just do it while we're watching and play your own ska and punk music and go nuts. So, why didn't I snare? I mean, I don't understand what they're thinking about here. <laughs> one card is blank, and one card does stuff. Bond says, ah, so it's Jerry. Not quite. I do like the Deftones, though. For the first, like, five or six years before I knew Jerry, um, in passing at Pro Tours and stuff, I would always just see him, because he was always wearing a Deftone shirt and baggy pants. So I knew him as the other guy who liked the Deftones. Deftones are great. All right, they take Timely. All right, so we get the ship here. We have Snap Push or Rebuy Explosives. Maybe if you snare super hard. Holy Dive, I like it. Spray snare. <laughs> Is our opponent a streamer? I have no idea. All right, we'll take one here. This is fine. We don't have the option of snap push or explosives. All right, spell snare is really dead. In case you were wondering. It's gonna be a Campbell. Or Sin Collector. Sin Collector is actually totally fine. I could not care less. Um, we have a spell snare, it's worthless, and that's it. So, cool. And now we are going to. Uh, so now, it's a little awkward if we snap push the Freebooter, we have a creature in play. So our, our, our thingy's not on, but it's still fine. Not our spell snare. All right. I mean, I don't hate uh, thought scour. Don't you hate it when your thingy isn't on? You know. All right. So we need some lands. Maybe two gear Hulk is too many. Maybe one's just fine. Snapcaster Mage is very good. There's a good magic card. Blue. Red. White. Okay. That's a card. That's a card. It sucks because we need... Um, we. I mean, I don't think we need extra land because we've literally, we've literally drawn only lands in most of our games. Um, no, you definitely want... This deck wants four snaps, not close. Snap's one of the best cards in this deck. All right, so now, we can snap thoughts. If we, if we knew we were drawing a land, that's just five mana to kill both these. Yeah, we're just gonna snap thoughts hour. Um, it kind of sucks, but. We need to draw some lands here. There we go. There it is. That's not bad. I can buy that. How did you get here? We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> oh, we gonna get him? Uh, I guess we're gonna get an island here.
two modes. Gain four life, sack an attacking creature. That one feels good. Yeah, like if you're playing ops and all the one mana pushes and paths, Snap is like your best card by a mile. Agree that um in the slower, more plotting blue white decks, that Snap is not nearly as good, but I mean, right now the board is stalled because of our Snapcaster Mage, so. Alright, Timely Reinforcements has been called. Blue Delta, great. Academy Ruins uh, Explosive looking pretty good here. Phantasmal Image. Sure. Uh, I guess Sin Collector, probably? Oh, they Melee Mage on my Gear Hulks. We have Explosives, though, so it's fine. Naming. Naming. Engineered explosives. Okay. Imperial troops have entered the base. Imperial troops have entered. I mean, like, we can also just bless an alliance and just kill this thing immediately, so. Uh, we're going to get our godless shrine. We are godless heathens. Oh, they didn't name that one. Um, okay. Sure. Give him the boot. Okay, so we're going to, um, it's going to resolve. We're going to target the meddling mage. Actually, hmm. If we just draw a land, our gear hulk plus blessed alliance just kills meddling mage by itself. Um, none of their creatures are worth killing, honestly. Like, maybe we just let this go. Because we just don't really care. Because we're just gonna explosives later anyway. I think it's just fine. One well, thing is that, like, eventually we're going to EE on two. So, like, who cares, you know? Okay, this is awkward. Now, now things get shitty. Alright, that's fine. Now I can name Gearhulk, obviously, and now I need to draw a removal spell. Alright, so... Nah, we lost the Storm. Um, game 1, we drew a million lands. Game 2, he played, he played really well. And uh, we just got kind of taken out by some Goblin tokens. Alright, well... They still can't really attack. And we can just draw any removal spell. And we're fine, so... Now we drive a land, obviously, because why wouldn't we? Yeah, it's... Our opponent is building a pillow fort, as we like to say. Light says, how much longer will I be on? I would like you to do a two-man or a league. Uh, not tonight, my friend. Uh, I'll be on uh, at some point soon. You can message me and we can find a good time to do it, but not tonight. It's already almost midnight. P 
Purge. We brought in Purge, right? Yeah, we did. Like, this is not exactly a, uh, a clock they have going here. No worry, lights. Thanks for following. Bell Rain, if you haven't followed, hit that follow button, of course. I mean... Okay. See, it's okay to build a pillow fort if you're killing your opponent fast. Alright, so they have chosen Fatal Push. We have three path and two push in our deck. Speak of a devil. All right, so now we're all good. Now I get to just say go, end step, kill the melee mage with unexplosives, untap, explosives, and go nuts. Another boot? Fine with me. Just play another two drop. You got it. Don't even get to get a land. So once they have another mage, image, or freebooter, and they've already played a lot, uh, we're going to basically, yeah, the game's just over. Cool. Last chance, nice. Who played FNM tonight? Raise your hand in chat. It's almost midnight, and our deck has a slower clock than Continental Drift. Yeah, I mean, you ain't wrong. S spell snares, like... Ugh. We'll keep... Whew. Whoa. Alright. Alright. Then you get off working time? Well, that's what you got me for. Yeah, obviously they have Cavern of Souls. Our path is a free source of postures, though, so. Okay. Yeah, if, they, if they're if they're leading on planes, they definitely have a cavern. I feel like. Okay, they got, they got the good hand here. This is fine. So, we're going to path something. It's probably just Thalia. I don't know. We can kind of get in the way of Thalia a little bit. Maybe just pass the Manage Rider. Like we can get we can get value with alliance this turn and kind of just keep going. Unless they have another mana rider. Mana rider kills really fast. Gets around worm coil engine. We just make some token stuff. Tilt. Cavern of Souls. And the thing is, like, this is fine because it, it gives us more time. Like, now we're being attacked by a bear, not a hasted three three power flyer. You know, Zelk, nice. I mean, I assume they have to take Busted Alliance, right? Like, 
they can, like, take something else and just, like, not attack, I suppose, which is cool by me. I doubt they have a Reflector Mage in their deck still. I think I want the, the seventh removal spell. Like, four push, three path, maybe. We are pretty reliant on, on our, our removal spells because we're not playing Wraths. I would mind the, the fourth push. Yeah, our opponent's going glacially slow. Sounds like a good time to remind everybody to follow the stream. Wow. They took Spell Snare out of their desire to curve out. That's that's dope. Oh, they have, they have a Metal Mage too? Alright, I mean... That's fine. I mean, they're, they're putting a they're putting a premium on, on curving out here. That's that's clearly their goal. I mean, I we could just Esper Charm their hand here, but I, I again, I don't I don't really like that. I'd rather just draw cards and cast Worm Coil Engine and Cryptic and stuff. Um, Snare did something, yeah, it's true. Explosives anywhere would be great. Uh, I just want to draw cards. We're just gonna say go. Yeah, it wasn't a bad snare. Like we hit, we hit their hand. They have their draw step and canopy. It's not worth it. We want to make land drops and draw explosives, or kill spells of any kind. Like this is not that fast of a clock. It's a lot of lands. Weird. He's like to play Restoration Angel sometimes, right? It's kind of a new development. Seen better, I've seen worse. That one's not bad. Um. Yeah, I, I, I could buy that. This card's great. I, I like this card a lot. All right. This allows us to not be all in on Worm Coil too, like where we just die to a Reflector Mage. This is actually insane. That was like a really good draw. Aside from Explosives, that was probably one of our best draws. It's fetch, fetch a duel also. A perfect mana. Yeah, that, that was timely, I agree. I want a perfect top deck. A timely reinforcements. Where are my explosives? I need my explosives. Cause they've got two drops. A trio on the battlefield. What the hell are they doing here? I want them dead. Alright, this is all fine. Merfolk Master, thanks for watching, my friend. A boot again? I mean... I guess it's like a Reflector Major bust here. I'm not gonna do the false setup part. Not not gonna do that one. Rare's got it though. I can't I can't do false setup, I'm sorry. It'll be she's running out of time. It's perfect. Excellent. Fantastic. I want a perfect lyric from Rare Popo and chat. That's right, so our hands pretty like pretty much we're done in here, it doesn't really matter what they take. Um yeah. If we draw on explosives here, I'll do a lap around the room. Nope. Okay, so we worm coil, they it isn't even that bad if they have the stupid thingy. We're bombing it. Demonetized. 
Kirk. I like that. I like you. Well, the thing is that Chaos, Thought Scour also turns on Search for Ascanta. They have the Reflector Mage, too. God damn it. Um, What's it called? It turns on Search for Ascanta, or Think Twice, makes our Gear Hulks and Snap Caches better. Marty. Nice. Alright, I mean, this is still fine. Like, we're still in very reasonable shape. That's I'm pretty happy they're not attacking here, honestly. Well book Hooded Vigilante, the the impetus behind wanting to run settle is the instant speed wrath is that like we're the instant speed deck, right? But it's it's not actually instant speed. You have to cast it in their you have to cast it in their attack step, and then you're tapped out post combat, they just play something. So you might as well just play a wrath, you know? Today right, I'm pretty day. happy that they didn't attack there, because I would not have trouble blocked, I don't think. Um, we have... None of these are images, right? No. Alright, I think we're just going to, like, just tap the team and buy a turn to Esper Charm. We could also Esper Charm their hand, actually. Actually, I think I like that better. That's true. Settle is better for Gear Hulk. I will, I will buy that. That is a reasonable... Reasonable thought, line of thought. Um, we also have Field of Ruin for their stupid Cavern of Souls, actually. What are we doing? We'll just do that, right? Um, we dunk on their hand. It costs some amount of mana. We have a lot of blockers. We just play Worm Coil. So they'll have, they'll have to draw Reflector Mage or Image in a two-turn window. That puts us dead if they draw it, though. If we leave up Cryptic, we tap, it's like tap the team, we like Field of Ruin them, and then like counter tap team or something, it's kind of eh. And then just cast Worm Coil next turn at 11 life with three blockers in play, it's pretty good. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with that, I'll buy it. It's also a wasteland too, which is kind of nice. So, and their hand is Dire Fleet Daredevil Thalia's Lieutenant. Wow, best Esper charm of all time. That's a hand. Sure. Last duel. And now we slam jam Worm Coil, and they have one turn to draw an answer. Yeah, best Esper Charm of the entire... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down a minute. Let's take it easy here, all right? Who else has creep by Radiohead stuck in their head? Raise your hand in chat. I gotta make a hand emote. That's gonna be my, one of my next emotes. I like the raise a hand thing, it's fun. Triple block Reflector Mage. That does cut off their outs. Four, five, six, seven. We're taking eight if we do that though. Um, and that's brutal. It's a catchy song. I'm taking eight. Eight, and then we then we're dead in the air. Yeah, we can't do that. We were dead in the air. Yeah, we can't do that. Um, just gonna jump and jump two, I think. Take four, go to six, and we have worm coil, two blockers. Yeah, this is fine. Well, they have two flyers. They just kill us in the air if we're two. Not bad. 
like, we could just play this. And... This might actually just be better. Hi. Thanks for following, Jersey. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, that's a really interesting draw. Um, Gear Hulk, Path, so we block Champion, Path, Blessed Alliance, Chump, Reflector Mage. Take four and go to two. And we can't do that. We can't do that. We can kill a... F hmm. Flashback Saddle would be good, yes. You got me. Play Worm Coil. They draw Image or Reflector Mage, we're dead. They don't. Uh, the game probably just ends. Play Gear Hulk. We're probably still dead at Reflector Mage, honestly. They... Fight to major soldier, attack with everything. We, we gear hulk, we block, block, take one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just dead. We have to keep with it. It's gotta be worm coil. Worm coil, pray. It's hold for one turn. Timely's a sorcery, unfortunately. Snapcaster mage could flashback timely. But, alright, don't kill us. Cryptic tap does nothing. It doesn't actually advance our. It's just gonna put us in the same spot next turn with them drawing an extra card. So, cool, cool. So that should be the game. Hmm. Like now, warm call just does everything. Go to ten. Now we have cryptic tap. We have gear hole. We have whatever we want to do. Honestly, the world is now our oyster. The game is over. Image for Worm Coil? I mean, we should have a counter spell, so. Gearhawk. We have block, block, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're. This is like. Pretty over here. Path. Kind of like turning Blessed Alliance back on. So I'm going to hit the Melee Mage. We can triple escalate, untap our guys. Um. People are always so, like, our opponent thought we were Jerry, and then people think they're playing against a good player, and they, like, get really self-conscious over their, over their, uh, over their plays. Our opponent played fine. I don't, I don't, I mean, I wasn't paying that close attention, but he did fine, opponent. Don't worry about it. Since it's not lethal, even without pass, should we discard two to play around Malcontent? That's a good idea, honestly, Mr. Jets. That's probably a pretty a pretty good play. I kind of like that. Um, they draw for turn. We, yeah, I actually like that play. I think that's that that's a good play. Good play, uh, Misslehead. You think Freebooter? They Freebooter, Esther Charm, Way to Turn, Melee Mage Cryptic. streaming you can look at me being nice in chat I, don't, I never talk in chat like ever but
Yeah, so our opponent's, our opponent's like pondering their turn where they decide to take the spell snare and play meddling mage. And I said that they were making a very like tempo play because they were like gonna willing to just take spell snare just to cast their meddling mage. They could have waited and just like let our spell snare be dead. Um, I'm not sure what's, what's honestly right from their side, so. Oh, they had Resto? Wow. We almost lost. We almost lost game two. That's sick. Wow. Resto's good. That's a good card. That's a really good one up in humans. Who hosted me? Uber Goose. Thanks for the host. I appreciate that. Remember when the one person told me to die in chat? Yeah, that's much more common than this. I would say these sorts of like actual good exchanges happen maybe once every six months. All right, cool. Kudos to our opponent. We are two and one. If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Oh, uh, that's Pascal Maynard? Oh, cool. I didn't know it. Um, are you sure it's Pascal Maynard, not just someone named Pascal? But, um, all right, so yeah, we're playing Esper, uh, Amalek's donation bonus extravaganza. This is the last league we're doing. This is where we, where we ended up. Uh, we were playing Planeswalker and stuff before. I wanted to try. Amalek told me I had to play four Esper charms. I was not allowed to not play that. So I think this is probably the best way to build an Esper charm deck in modern. Whether you think Esper charm is good or not, that's up to you. But I think this is the best way to build it. So, uh, Clem Clemson. Lucky 13 months. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it very, very much. <laughs> Giggle Gnome says, positive interactions with complete strangers on the internet? What is this? Some AOL chat room in 1997? ASL? ASL? Alright. Uh, this sounds cool. Sure. Oh, hi, SEG. Everyone, everyone wants. To, I, I hate being on the SG guys. Everyone wants to talk to you. Like, I, I just never talk in chat. I just want to play my game, you know? I have, to, I have trouble talking to you guys. All right. This hand's actually great. I feel like the curve in this deck is just a lot better. Like, we aren't drawing, like, four and five out of Planeswalkers. It suck. Yo. <gasps> Ho 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 Hi Super Nintendo Chalmer! Thanks for following. What's up, Pascal? Yeah, I I very rarely talk in chat, but when it's very it's very rare to have a good positive exchange, and that was a good one. I like that. So yeah, I, Pascal, if you feel the person I just played, um, I'm not sure about that turn. It was it was clear what you were doing. Like it was kind of like why is why is taking spell like chat was a little like why is he taking spells in there? But like obviously you're just making a, a tempo positive play. But is that right? I'm not sure honestly. But you're welcome to go back and watch it from uh watch the replay. You can watch the whole thing from my side, which is usually pretty helpful. All right, uh, we're gonna want to watch our life total. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? I'm just say go. It's so warm in here. Holy crap, dude. They should follow everyone. We got a big influx of viewers. Did LSV stop streaming? Must have been. LSV, thank you for stopping streaming. I appreciate it. All other streamers appreciate when you stop streaming. So, welcome everyone. What's up? How's it going? Raise your hand if you came from LSV stream. Raise your hand. Don't be shy. And uh, welcome. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing... Uh, this is the tail end of a 12-hour donation bonus extravaganza. Uh, Amala put in for four, for four donation bonus leagues. This is the last one. It's been all modern Esper control. Just hours and hours and hours. I'm ready to die. But it's okay. Alright. Uh, think once. Oh, you had Daredevil Path? Ooh, yeah. I definitely would have done that. I guess one thing twice. 
We're not like going like full blown Wafo Tapa and playing like four of them and just being like on a different planet. But like, I like the one. I like it. A little extra value with our thought scours. I'm feeling it. Thanks for following everyone. Appreciate it. We go tap land this turn. Yeah, we can tap. We do want to watch our life total. Like, they definitely will be planning to like, burn us out, so. We have Logic not up. Next turn we have Cryptic up. We have Think Twice. Electrolyze. Bzz. Yeah, Pasco, I think you just take the, the opportunity to get rid of get rid of the worm coil at all costs. My only real chance to like get back in. Of course, drawing planes is obviously super awkward, but they missed the land drop. Wow. Sorry, opponent. What, what would I play in place of Esper, Esper Charm? A different deck. I'd play Jess Guy. But I have my I have my um This is this is this is ridiculous. Come on now. You're getting a little out of hand, opponent. We're really in ambush ambush viper stage of the game, that's where we need to be. But um Yeah, I think Jess Guy is just strictly better than Esper in my opinion, but we're I'm I'm doing what I'm paid to do. I'm a I'm a total sellout, what can I say? Drink is gone. It's hot in here. Think twice in Gear Hulk. Be still my heart. What's up, Tannen? Yeah, I mean, we're just going to fire up this whole Think Twice here. Jeskai Charm. Yes, definitely Jeskai Charm. That's where I'd be at. The Tannen Grace in chat. Everyone say hi, my friends. Team BCW teammate. If you haven't followed my team on Twitter, get on there. I was no reason to push yet, I don't think. Search for Escanta. Yeah, we're going to push, leave Cryptic up, and just keep making land drops. What do I want to drink? Some water, please, Toots. Thank you. Everyone, again, give Nicole a hand. Uh, Burnsy has a... That's, that's Burnsy's brother, Sammy. How do I get you to play a deck? Is there a bot here who can provide details? Yep. Also, just run on the stream. Uh, none tonight, though. Um, this is uh, hour 11 of the stream. I'm done. <laughs> but uh, you can message me if you want. We can find a good time in the future to do it. All right, yeah. Well, I think we actually had a duel, so I didn't, need, I didn't need to do that. I should not have done that, actually. This, yeah. Didn't mind to land. Nope. I mean, we could just try and force through our, our search here. The problem is that they if they resolve a, a Jace or something, we just like are in big trouble. So we gotta we kinda just have to say go here. Well, I'm like I mean like in my stream today. I've been streaming for the last ten hours and, and forty one minutes. We had a Jeskai, a Jeskai stream, where we, um, hmm. Oh, we have, we have, we have Snap Spell Snare. That's dope. We had a Jeskai stream. We played a, a League of Jeskai. Tried to be a little quieter, a little more serious. I've been, I've been doing the Waka Waka a lot lately. And that, that'll be up on YouTube at some point. Went 4-1. and one, Lost to Tron. And then we, um... Played the John and Jim show. Me and John played some Cuphead. It's a new game for us. We never never played it before. That was pretty fun. And now we're in Esper Hell. I'm a big Spell Snare fan. Oh, no, we're, we're back to the Waka now. Now it's all Waka Waka. But I was trying to focus a little bit then. Alright, so now we have the board. We'd like to draw land here. Cool. I'd like to decide what to do with my land here. Um, so if we if we run out of search and they try and counter the logic knot, the question becomes: Are we fighting over it? 
And then if we do fight over it, can we beat their follow-up? If they have a Teferi, it's devastating. Um, I guess not, though, because we have the Snapcaster Mage. So we can, like, attack the Teferi if we have to. And still have a Search for Ascant in play. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Delta. Hmm... Definitely want to cast something. Or let like to get this cryptic in the graveyard at some point, so my gear hulk's better. Um Yeah, I think I like casting here. I think we're gonna defend also. If they punish us with exactly Teferi, I mean God bless him, I guess. This also gets a cryptic command in the graveyard. Oh, Alright, cool. Yeah, there's also the upside of them just like not having logic knot, which is great too, so. I was ready to fight over it. I mean, now we're just like firmly in the driver's seat. Tassiger in the graveyard? That's a little awkward. Um, Tassiger's pretty good, but I'm sure they have paths and crap. Like, they're almost sure, surely playing four path, and I'm not going to want to activate it, and I want my graveyard for search for Ascan. Where should I been this? Sorry, Tassiger. Maybe next time. Speak of the devil. Four spell snares, like a little, a little much, but Be Tassiger. I don't know, is pretty good. I mean, I'm more than happy to continue to sit here and attack for two and push towards my search. Creeping Tar Pit. I do like that one, but they're a deck full of bolts and paths. I want this thing flipped ASAP. We're going to bin this. I'm pretty aggro of my searches. The Jets are the Knights, who you got? Um, I'm a Vegas boy. I've been, Vegas is the only team I've followed like, super closely this playoff series. Tuts. Tampa got trounced. We have questions. Do you have answers? What's. What? Who's going to win? The Jets or the Golden Knights? The Knights. Who's going to win? Tampa Bay or the team they're playing? Capitals. Capitals. Capitals are going to win? Yeah. Capitals are going to beat Tampa Bay? Yes. They okay. crushed them tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know They were winning like 4 nothing or something when I looked. Vasilevsky. Yeah, I know. Trust me. Um, I don't, I, who, who you'd rather win is a, is a different in an answer. Cryptic Command. But. Return, draw. It's 100% Vegas Capitals. Which is going to be interesting because either going to be Vegas winning the cup, which is going to be like insane. Like, or the Capitals winning the cup and Ovechkin actually getting yeah. the cup. Um. I can see. I feel like once Ovechkin beats Crosby, yeah, he can do anything. Like the monkey's off his back, and he can do it. Yeah. So a Caps Vegas Finals would be pretty exciting. Like Cinderella, you just, what you just said, Cinderella story versus Ovechkin. Yeah. Like it's like either you have a you know like yeah the noob. Like it's not even like the noob. It's just like everyone's like leftovers and unwanteds <laughs> in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. I thought what happened to Vegas is the, supposed to stay. The Jets in Vegas. are very good, though. The Jets are fine. So. Yeah, I feel like their weak spot is their 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 goaltending is touch and go. I feel like. All right, so they are playing a search for Azkanta. and I'm I am interested in interacting am, with this. But I smell good now. I showered. Congratulations. I changed my PJs. Congratulations. I got my, my Halo t-shirt on. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I turn, I turn on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Snapcaster Mage. I got this thing in like 
2006 or something. So I've been trying to snap <laughs> this cryptic like here. This, this is fine. I love this shirt. This is fine, because we, we don't care about the Snapcaster Mage. I want them to tap out. We counter it, and then we, win, we each win the war. <laughs> Poor Ten. <laughs> to ten. Ten says, I leave Vegas, and they're about to get a cup. I just <laughs> never get a trophy, ever. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Tana, we love you, bud. I'm on I'm on hashtag, you know, team get Tana and a trophy. I was I was I was cheering you guys on. I, w I was hashtagging in the in the chat. I'm a mod in the, the Star City chat, but I'm a very biased mod. I I'm always I always root for Team BCW. Wow. So I I don't know if I'm allowed to or not, but I just do it anyway. People are talking to you. I know. How's my foot? It's still very swollen and and like Sore. Game is over. It actually hurts a lot right now. I don't know why. I probably have did too much today. Delta says, Hey Jim, do you have any tips about developing stamina when playing magic? I wouldn't be able to do this. You mean like play long control matchups like this? I mean, Or do you mean like play like 11 hours in a row? Oh. Kind of thing. Because like that's drink a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> Hydration bot. Make sure you eat. Like, st But those are serious. Like I remember the worst, the worst I ever felt like, one of the worst headaches I've ever had in my life, probably the worst headache I ever had in my life, was that modern IQ that we went to the first time I ever played modern, when you gave me Red Green Tron, and I had the Carplusion Forest or whatever instead of the Groves. Uh-huh. Uh, and I left there, I didn't drink or eat anything, and I played like, you know, eight or nine rounds of Tron. Of, a, of a format you've never played before. Of a format never, I've never, never played, played before, before. And you've, you know, like, and I'm playing against, this pod was still legal, I played against pod. I played against Affinity, not not Infect. I yeah. played against Storm. I played against all these, and I was sitting there. I left. I couldn't see on the car ride home. I felt so terrible. I could. I hadn't had anything to drink or had anything to eat all day. I, I had to deal with her. And he, yeah, he dealt with me the most. Of the, I feel like we went to go get Burger King or something. And there was like a Burger King yeah, right there. there, there was, the thing no, there was called, nothing in the there area. There was nothing yeah. in the area, and I was just like, "Please, I don't think I can eat burger. I hate fast. Well, no, I don't particularly like fast food, so I wanted to die. So I feel like that's a number one. What was my? Oh, I, I, I was, I, I did terrible. Like I was like, <laughs> I think I, I think I won like three matches. That was my 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 boil blood moon play that I was so proud of. Yeah, tell um, <laughs> tell him that story and tell him a story about the the, the infect player you played against. Oh well, yeah. Nicole's gonna tell player. stories for a while. It's story time. It's... <laughs> story time. Story time. The girl no, on the stream <laughs> tells a story about the time someone tried to cheat against her. Story time. <laughs> Think twice. Story time. Well, two gerbils I in a cage see... sleeping, and then all of a sudden. Oh, stop! They wake up. No. Story time. Sammy still asleep. <laughs> Sammy's yeah, you, not you having you. You can't shake Sammy. <laughs> Yeah, I was playing against somebody. Apparently, I was playing Affinity. I had no idea. I like turn, and I didn't know what I was doing. I actually like turned three, like Tron, like played Karn, and like I like plus or I like minus on something, and then they just like untapped with the Ink Moth Nexus, and they they you know they animated attacked me, and you know attacked me for like four, and I was like okay, you know I go to sixteen. And then they did it again, like, the next turn. And I was just like, you know, for, they attacked me for, like, you know, seven or something. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm at nine. And he goes, no, you're dead. And I was just like, what? He goes, you're dead. This is in fact. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was like, I'm at 16. I don't understand. And then you attacked me for seven. He was like, no, no, no. This is in fact damage, not regular damage. And I was just like, and I kind of, like, looked to the match to the left of me. Because they were like half watching and they kind of saw what was happening, but they both kind of like, scum. yeah, they kind of like just blank looked at me and just kind of kind of like, and I was just like, oh, all right, I guess I I lose. I don't know. I never played against a deck with infect before. I didn't know exactly what infect was. I only kind of knew. I kind of knew you had to count of ten. So I told Jim that he because <laughs> later on in the in the tournament I looked over and he was playing against the guy that I had played against. And he came over to me, and I was like, oh, you played against that Infect player I was playing. Jim was like, what? <laughs> I was like, the Infect guy. He's like, 
that he wasn't playing Infect. I'm like, yes, he was. And you were like, no, nah, he was playing Affinity. And I was just like, what does that mean? <laughs> Yeah. That's how little I knew. I knew. I actually knew nothing about the format. Yeah, but real and scummy. Couldn't. It you was can't pretty do scummy. That. You can't. <laughs> you. You actually. Yeah, I didn't know that you couldn't do that. Yeah, like you, <laughs> she, Nicole can't say I'm at sixteen. You just say. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. It's against the rules. Yeah. Tell them about your your. Uh, well, first tell them Tannen says a funny fun story. Tannen's played against Nicole and she got he got browned. Tell yeah. him tell him your Tannen story. I mean, that was, oh God, it was in Jersey, was that, that was in Jersey, right, Tannen? And I think it was, it, it was like, I think it was the, a weekend of an Invitational maybe, and it, we were playing in the Open because I guess we didn't do well in the Invitational, and um, I sat down and there were people just like setting up cameras to like take pictures, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm playing against somebody. Cool. <laughs> Because they're not here the to take pictures. Grace? The Tan and Grace? Oh my god, he's here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. That's not, that's not any Tan and Grace. That is the Tan and Grace. He's here. They oh my weren't god. there to take pictures of me. So so I found out. <laughs> but Tana was actually quite nice to me. Spell spell scary. Nope. F6. <laughs> so it was an open attachment in Via. So I thought it was. I, I couldn't really remember. I do remember it being in New Jersey. Very Jesus, obvious, though. Emily. Very obvious. Ah, so you weren't cued for the envy. I was. I just did terrible. I think I was cued for it. I probably was. Maybe I honestly, maybe I wasn't. Jessica, I thought there was a there was a there was an invitational in Jersey that like I couldn't yeah, no, play yeah, in. Yeah, you you played the invitational in Columbus. Yeah, in Columbus. So maybe maybe I wasn't either. Maybe we were in the same boat, Tan and except I have no excuse because I was playing. So yeah, I was playing. I was playing Burn. I had to have been playing Burn, um, and you were playing a Delver deck. The Delver deck, a, a blue something deck. Ten and I was playing a Delver deck. Yeah. I don't know, but yes, I remember that. <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah, I think we're just gonna like What's the play the fetch. Jund, Jund, you were playing Jund. That was back when Jund was a good matchup for Burn. Wait, oh, it was modern Jund or is modern or Legacy? I, that's why I, for some reason I thought it was Legacy and it was modern. Uh. Sorry, I was still playing Burn though. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I thought for some reason I thought it was Legacy. I guess, the, I don't know. But, so, it, I was still playing Burn. So I don't think I was playing Tron at that point. I definitely wasn't playing Tron at that point. Missed Land Drop. And, um, yeah, that was, Jund was, Jund used to be good. And then, like, Collector Brutality and Fatal Push happened. Oh, you're, you're, playing, you're playing Jund Burn? No, he oh. was playing Jund. I was playing, yeah. I think I was just playing... I don't think I was playing Jun Burn. I might have been playing Jun Burn. God, I don't know. Yeah, like Stop oh. saying so many decks. They're all like the same. I'm just, I'm just sitting here letting you talk and playing. It's great. I'm like, every, it's actually I pretty awesome. Hate yourself every turn. Oh. Started by Legacy with Death and Taxes. Any advice you can? I think we can give you. Um, I haven't actually played that deck. Um, Wasteland and Port are very important. I don't got much, honestly. Mulligan aggressively, yeah. I, I, you're, you have no card selection, and like your, your deck isn't very powerful per se. So I, I agree. You should probably be mulliganing pretty aggressively. What's the point doing? You'd be like trying to bounce this, maybe, or something. I don't really know. Cryptic Command bounce. Yeah, it's, that's that's great. <laughs> logic knot, Esper Charm, Disdainful Stroke. Uh, we got Logic knot. That's a pretty bad play by my opponent, I think. Like, that's a very short sighted play. They kind of just, like, I... did that, and then, like, now what? You know, like, we just play it again. It, it seems like a play without a plan. Unless they have a plan, perhaps. I don't know. 
All right, we're gonna search. And we're gonna play an ion. So we have spell snare and logic knot and like esper charm theoretically. Sounds good to me. What's up, uh, Bimets? So you told your tell your tell your um your your blood moon story or whatever. I feel like you could tell us better than I. I don't can. remember it at all, honestly. So. Okay, I was playing. Yes, I was playing Red Green Tron, and so the same, same event as the Infect incident. And I had, so yeah. she had never played it before; no idea what she was doing. I had I had Tron in play. I was playing against a, a, a like a storm deck or some of some sort, and they had Blood Moon in play. I had Tron, but Blood Moon was in play, and then I had a basic forest, um, and I drew. I remember it. You gotta remember, this is like my first modern event. I drew the card uh, Boil, and I like looked, and I thought about it, and went, wait a second. And I had a Nature's Claim in my hand. So I didn't actually have red in play, so I, I tapped one of my Tron lands to flow to red, and then Nature's Claim the Blood Moon, and then using the red floating, I tapped one more of the things, and I boiled, and I killed all of my opponent's lands, and it felt really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, I was, and I, was like, I was watching too. And so was Ross Merriam. Yeah. And he like I looked up and I was like I did I did it was probably the best like sequencing I had ever like the first time I'd actually sequenced a turn in magic and felt like proud of it. That it wasn't like end of turn bolt you. You know, I like thought about it and put thought into it. I was so proud of myself. It was good. And I if I, I, I recall like the game ended and like Ross looked at me out at Ross who we was just like, <laughs> like <laughs> Good job. It I was, heard it about. Yeah, we're drinking. So Got it. Water. I was so Thank proud you. of myself that, like, I thought to use my opponent's blood moon to float a red that I didn't have access to otherwise. To then nature's claim to then boil. And yeah, it felt really good. <laughs> this game is... Night Kirk. Kind of comical. Night Kirk, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Nature's claim is the green instant... Uh, destroy target um, artifact or enchantment. Its Enjoy. controller gains four life. Uh, yeah. Oh, it felt it felt so good, like so good. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a thoughtless play. Like, and a turn bolt you, like <laughs> like Jim's opponent just did. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I had the I did I had the worst headache that day, but I was so proud of that play. <laughs> Look, no number says playing your blue red wizards deck at a PPTQ on Sunday. Any advice? Make sure you have an answer to Lyra Dawnbringer. Uh, you might want. What's like, that one in the red? The five fight, damage. Fight, fight with fire is okay. Um, it is good those matchups because they they have settled too. Fight with fire is reasonable. What's that other one that you were playing the versus series? That oh, that, that card sucks. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, it's just worse than fire. By fire. Oh, okay, sorry. Thanks, Danny. Here's my You're hand my hero too. Here's my hand. Go nuts. Just need to not get punked out here. Basically, what they take. Negate. Okay. Our own click is actually pretty pretty insane. Uh, logic knots. Three, two for logic knot, three for downfall. Yeah. We're just gonna cast this. It's a little awkward to do it on our turn, but I'd rather do, cast it and start fighting than discard. Makes sense. Don't have Electrolyze. Teferi, Teferi, Snapcaster, Elspeth, Dispel. <laughs> sure. All right, so we take the Dispel, sure. leave him with a hand of, of a bunch of crap. Um, so, and, Old Teferi, Elspeth, Snapcaster. Right? Yeah, because so now we have, we have Spell Snap for Snapcaster, they have a bunch of stupid Sorcery spells, Speed spells, and we have a bunch of Counter spells, so. Huh, they drew Bolt. <laughs> 
That's that's kind of funny. It's fine. All right, whatever. I don't know why I think that's funny, but I think it's really funny. <laughs> and return bolt you. Since I mentioned that 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 was silly, the opponent's done that twice. Don't get me wrong, I love end of turn bolts. Wait, they, they bolted us again? No, they didn't. They bolted the... No, oh, they, well, they bolted... Sure, they end of turn bolted right. the click. Sure. Fine, end of turn bolt your creature. Instead of bolt you. Got it. Okay, so... No interaction there. Another Megia theme. Just comically over. Click arts are tied. The original art. The original art of every card ever is best. End of story. Your opponent's has the, the border, yours doesn't. That's it's like the master is twenty five. Uh huh. But I thought all legendary things did. Well, no, they only updated the frames that have the black on the bottom. Oh. So like the black, like the black bottom part. Got it. Yours is OG. Yep. That Scott playlist still going in Jim's head right now. Yep. Whatever. Except Jim's still on the song. I'm pretty sure he started the stream on, so. Land? Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mungal smash. Snap. Yeah, I decided what I wanted for Mother's Day. What do you want? You to have a thousand subs. Uh, yeah. Mongol Smash, what's your name, where you from, how long you playing Magic, favorite card of all time, favorite deck of all time, most important, what's your name, where you from, and what's your puppy name for Nicole, please, thank you for the sub, that's a Prime sub, if you're an Amazon Prime user, you're a Twitch Prime user, you get a free sub every month, you should use it on me and Nicole, and Bernsey, and John, and Sammy, this is what I do for my living, I am a full-time Magic player, I stream here on Twitch, I write articles on StarCityGames.com, it's all this blue, I play for Team BCW, what is this? I don't, I don't. No. Hey, what Cheer. do I have to do for you to check out a deck list? Ten bucks, my man. Put that shit in my hand. Or I suppose a, hunt, a thousand bits. So nine, 900 more bits and you're done. It's bonus, Amalek. That's a lot of bits. So secure the waste for two. So they have... Um, I cheered some bits today. This is... And the puppy. Probably an attempt to like snap, bolt, secure, just kind of like punk us out again. Um, we negate. We have negate. Logic knot. Spells. This is fine. Is it fine? It's actually gonna be a little annoying. Yeah, well, let's negate this. Exactly. Ten has got you. If that money doesn't show. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> well, like reading it doesn't do anything. I'm like, what? <laughs> The spell is much more valuable in later counter fights. And we have the Planeswalkers covered pretty well. What's up, Key? What's the opponent doing? They're going to Snapcaster and try and pull this or something. We played so many blue mirrors in these in all these leagues. You have. It's been unbelievable. You have. The puppy should be named funny, Goblin Chain World. Because that was actually part of the reason, like, some people were saying play Lingering Souls. And part of me was like, you you should, because it's just so good against the fair blue matchups, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like, I mean, I feel like that's just a good reason to play it. You guys play against blue so I mean, the thing times. is, like, this is not a I know, you're not a, trying to mitigate Modo, sample. but. <laughs> Elspeth's Path, Hi, Snap, to Teferi, Teferi. This is all fun. I love leaving their hand with Click. It makes me so happy. It's one of my favorite things. Just, and just so safe. I, should know I the, feel like... Just know their whole hand. It's, but it's good to know their whole hand, and it just makes your opponent feel bad. Because you could just be like, no, no, you can have those. And your opponent's just like, really? It's that bad? I should have got an island, I think. Whatever. <laughs> Still like Karn. We're, we're currently in the, like, 12th hour of Esper. This is our... It was... It, I'm a luck put in for four leagues, and uh, we're playing. Uh, this is league number four. We're in like 
the thirteenth hour. Name the puppy. I like. I do like name the puppy Gerbil. Or they got a Gerbil and name a dog. Gerbil was one of my favorite. Yes, that's right, what Jim so was going to do originally. He was just going to get me a Gerbil. So cryptic and name a puppy. counter draw. They have Elspeth, Teferi, Snapcaster, and Hand. Oh yeah, we're eleven hours today. We did a six-hour stream yesterday. Correct. And by we, I mean Jim. Yeah. I was here for a little bit. You've been very helpful. I've been trying. I was. I'm All right. Cooking and doing uh, dishes. Smash is Ian from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Friend of Tannin. With the Tannin Greats, perfect. Favorite card, Lana Rell's favorite deck, Modern Elves. Name a dog, Captain Sisse or Gerard? Say. Legendary name. Is that like Sashay? Called off the Rebirth. Yeah, that's my next um my next attempt with that deck. Going to be playing Rebirth. Called off the rebirth. It's a one red sorcery. It costs one red. You have to also have a sacrifice and artifact as part of the cost. Um, uh, you get one. You get three goblin tokens for one mana. Do 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 do. You better be listening to ska music, or you're breaking the rules. You can just listen to you sing. That match will never sense? end. No, this match is over. All right. We're done here. <laughs> they're gonna the... bring. They're gonna snap path and just to path your. Yeah, whatever. Gear hold. Get out of my face, opponent. Out my face. What does opponent have left in their hand? Elspeth. Elspeth, that's it. Counter draw. We kill you now. You did. Do you think they play another basic planes? Do you think you take them off double white? I don't know. Wait, you only have one field of ruin. I thought you had two. They have, they, have, they have three white. I know. I'm saying, do you think they play another basic planes? I have Elspeth. This is 6, 8, and 8 is 16. Going for the winsies. Going for the winsies? Like, over two turns. Like. I'll be trying uh, called Author Rebirth in my Skirk Prospector for Condity Combo decks. Uh, so that's, get hype. That's my next uh, attempt with that deck. I've done three attempts so far. They're all on YouTube. Uh, yeah, whatever. You're dead. Just, just go away, please. I'm done with you. I don't want to play with you anymore. You bore me. Be nice. I'm tired. <laughs> Someone's one uh, of them. No, you lost. Uh, you lost to Storm or whatever. Yeah, we lost to Shroud playing Storm. Right. Um, so we're three one. Three one. Pretty good. I like this deck a lot better, Amalek. Like, I think if you want to play Esper Charm, this is the way to do it. Um, I think that I mean we'll go over the list at the end as far as like things I might want to change, but uh, we're going for for a four one here. But I'm late tired. So have a nap, then fire the missile. We misplayed badly. What do we do? Oh, uh, we, we didn't take the the empty. Oh, didn't. Take I wouldn't call that like a punt. It was definitely like a strategic decision at the time that didn't really pan out. I agree, it might have been wrong, but it wasn't like a oh my god, you know. Like we we we, we still could have lost that game. Definitely, it's. I consider a punt of like, oops, I didn't do this. Now I'm dead. Not, I made a choice on turn three that was wrong, but the game went a hundred turns. You know, like. Candlehawk list. There's no saying we we, we would have won that game. We're both very old. What's the? Oh wow, eleven year old memes. We're both very old. Yeah. We All both right. predate the internet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We were around the internet started. But I'm like, what I'm saying is that like. It's not like we would have won that match if we had surgical the empty. Like we still could have lost that game. Like it was not not even close to like, oh, we would have won if we did this. Like we still would have played a long game and things would have happened, you know? So <laughs> I'll be like how old am I? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Tim's old. He, Guess. He, I actually can't tell you because he forgot. Because yeah. he's that old. Or waiting also. Go online. You're online. Everyone here is online. That's how the internet works. It's a series of tubes. That you're in. <laughs> anyway, so go online, follow me on Twitter at Jim Davis MTG. Don't have a Twitter, get one. You don't have to tweet. <laughs> you can just use it to follow the things you like. It's very, very it's it's honestly the best place to get news and stuff for like magic and so on and so forth. And you don't have to tweet. Just make your account, follow who you want, don't ever tweet. Just because you have Twitter doesn't mean you'll be you'll be, you'll be vague booking at four AM. 
My goal is 10,000 followers by the end of the year, and we're a little behind. So go follow me, at Jim Davis MTG. Uh, when Did I try I... Jim Davis, it comes up as an old man. Then you've got him. That's him. Jim predates Ska. We're talking first wave Ska, too. Not that third wave shit, like... What? Like what? <laughs> like first wave. It was like the 70s or 80s or something, right? I don't know. I mean, you're listening to like Scott and like punk and stuff too, though. There was some stuff on there that wasn't like... It was like punkish. I'm saying like I predate Scott. Like Scott is like an old genre. It's like... like it's first. first old. I'm saying I'm saying it was, a, it was a joke based on like... Like Lesson Jake and like Ruby Fish are like third wave ska. Are they? Yes. Like... First wave Scott is oh, like second wave. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> to be told, we can look it up if you want. <laughs> but I'm like ska. Ska. Wick there is a wicked. Yeah, it's more it's more like more like Jamaican, what's like the, kinda like Gwen Stefani Oh, ska? it's a fifties. I'm I, Jeez. So saying I predate Ska makes Jeez. me really yeah. See that's after World War Two. I had no idea there were waves. Yeah, so it's a little more like or like 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 reggae like, you know. And then well, two tone. What makes and it, then third wave is what, like oh, Scott. Oh, so punk. the third, the second wave was called two tone. Yeah, in England. Okay. The specials. Scott is just insane. Sorry. It's yeah. just everywhere. Mighty yeah. mighty Boston. Yep. You learn stuff here on this stream. Yeah. Uh, Apparently. Sans. Shitty. I'll keep. That's my favorite. Do, 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 yeah, this do, house, do. this hand's pretty bad. Uh, we're keeping. Um, I we're playing more of like an instant speed version of a deck. Our previous versions had like had like planeswalkers and supreme verdicts and stuff. And uh, all right, I would say our hand is pretty poorly set up for this matchup. We could, actually, we could Tassiger on turn two, I guess theoretically, but but um, but uh, yeah, I think that if you're if you want to play Esper Charm, which is which is my restriction, because Amalek wants to play Esper Charm, I think this is the way to do it. Um, I think that just playing a lot of spot removal with Snapcasters is fine. Also, Explosives is very good. I'm a big Explosives fan. We're so dead. I mean, this is our saving grace here. I think that if we're going to win this game, it's going to be on the back of Tassiger. We don't have much life gain, though. In the... well, we, we, have almost no, we almost have almost no, no life Are gain. Are you playing any timely main anymore, or no? Nah, no. But... Um, if we just turn to Tassiger and then have a counterspell and an Esper Charm, we're probably fine. So, uh, no settles. I could see playing one settle because it's good with Gear Hulk, but. Hmm? I said we need to draw black. Correct. Source. You are correct. Pain, painless black source. Is that asking too much? I hope not because that's what I'm asking for. I remind you of your college roommate. He's the one who got me into magic. Also, very smart and good looking and talented. He loves to look stuff up on Wikipedia. <laughs> Doesn't everyone? Raise your hand in the chat if you like looking things up on Wikipedia. Raise your hand on chat if you've ever gone into like an hour-long foray of just like tangents on Wikipedia where you're like, ooh, Two-Tone Ska. Ooh, this band. Ooh, the singer was this other band. Ooh, he also is a scientist. Ooh, the planet Mars. Ooh. Like, raise your hand if you've done that. Because we all have. What's up, Uber Goose? Raise your right. time. And Lying 100%. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, uh, we we need a, we need a hand emote. A hand emote's like the next emote for sure. We have a lot of new emotes. We're we're at th we're, we're closing in on four hundred subs. That's insane. You guys are awesome. That means we need a puppy. Soon. That's right. So for those who don't know, I don't really want to get a puppy. Nicole and I just bought a house recently in South Carolina. We're moving in a few months, and Nicole really, really, really wants a dog. And our our son John, who's seven, really, really, really wants a dog. And I really don't want a dog. Um. I'm okay with dogs. I'm not really a dog person. I don't like Do your thing. the idea of, of a dog <laughs> shitting on my carpet or barking and just bothering me is like, ugh. But I'm willing to compromise, but I told Nicole that we got to get a thousand subs. A rescue puppy. All right. Let's straw fetch land or black source here, please. I guess we could be leaving up logic knot. No, I'll, I'll, I, we're not going to win this game unless we cast Tassie Rivers turn. Hit me. Already missed the one delta. That's okay. We missed again. All right. 
Not probably dead. But I mean, like, I think I think that that's the play that gave us the best chance to win. I think so. I agree. It's funny. They had a they had a uh, there was a dog. It was a a lab Great Pyrenees mix, and Great Pyrenees are big. Uh, the yellow labs don't tend to be as big. It looked like a yellow lab mix, uh, you know, like a yellow lab Great Pyrenees. But the, the I asked the lady. It was it's a it was a rescue in South Carolina. Just because I'm you know I'm not like shopping around, but I I asked said you know about how big do the you know is the dog supposed to get? And they said big, like the average Pyrenees is like a hundred pounds. And I was just like. Jim would die <laughs> if I brought home a hundred pound dog. Yes. Corgis honestly are like Corgis are great. That's more in my range. I want a dog that's kinda of chill. Oh, I, I can't jump around, feet, doesn't bark a lot. The little legs. Um the little butts. But yeah, so I, I told them. Nicole one thousand subs and we would get a, a puppy. That was about when we had like hundred and fifty subs. We now have three seventy. We've also been streaming a lot in the last few months. But um we're getting there. This is this is embarrassing. I think we should actually probably just concede and just not even reveal any more cards. Probably I mean, if they've seen Island Island a bunch of blue cards. Think twice. They've seen literally as far as I know we're, we're playing mono blue, so I'm just gonna concede. I mean, what? What? what I don't understand. What? Tell me how you win this game. I'd say our odds to win are a hundred percent zero. We're like one percent to win if that. They have a Rift Bolt in Exile, a Swift Spear. We're at nine. They have two more cards in hand, and we have literally nothing. If you can tell me a path, we can find a play Academy Ruins. Oh. I actually kind of like that. Because they might think we're some sort of like... Artifact deck or and something. bring in like Artifact Hate. So now, this is important. Um, this is an important lesson, actually. I'm glad we're going to learn a little bit here on this stream. Um, magic players are very quick to want to be tricky. Okay? They're quick to want to be like, I want to I want to deceive my opponent and misdirect them in some way. Make them think something else that's not what it is. But our goal is not to be tricky and clever. Our goal is to make the play that makes us the most sense for us. So we play Academy Ruins here. They might think we're playing like Mono Blue Tron. We could try at the end of the turn to flashback think twice or something like that. Or I mean, whatever. we're just gonna play it and concede basically. We're like we're, we're, choo sure. we're choosing to reveal information. The question is, will that misdirection make them sideboard in a matter of it's effective against us or not effective against us? You know, like. I mean, what does. What does burn normally have? That I guess I don't know. I mean, like then I board in molten rain. Normally, as a burn player, you love it when your your opponents play islands. So we play ruins. They might think we're. It might be like Sony Silence. Yeah, I might play the ruins just like go. This is fun. <laughs> Got a PPTQ tomorrow. Bant approach or mono green with negates. Exclamation point! Bant approach. Slow play. Check my list uh, in today's versus video. Alright. You're basically saying I can see it, so. Alright. Not showing them our top guard. Alright. So. What are we going to do against Burn? Timely? We don't have a lot. Purge? We don't want Dispel. Negate. Clicks. Timely. Worm coil. That's probably it. This is this is rough. Take out our cryptics. Our hero's downfall. And I guess explosives. Explosives not that great against them. Oh, busted alliance. Thank you. Missed that one. Thank you. Wait, no. Put that in the ones you want to keep. I'm going to cut one more. <laughs> Corgis are very smart. You're my new favorite Twitch user. Corgis are very smart, username says. Jim, I literally signed up for an account to let you know Corgis might not be your speed. They're smart little boogers and get bored easily. Oh, I love it. Uh, purge, is not, purge is not good. We have our mobile is just better purge than that. Good. Got it. Um, let's cut. Make your Hulk, honestly. Say egg your Hulk. Yeah. Maybe they're gonna bring in artifact hate, and that's the only artifact we play. I mean, just like we can just kill them with snapcasters, and like once, once we're kind of in control, we should be mostly all right. That's good. Yeah, Tassiger is gonna be one of our best cards. Hopefully, we draw it. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are fine. They have a lot of health issues. 
We're probably not getting a purebred, honestly, whatever we end up with, because I want to rescue a dog. Filthy mudbloods. You're unreal. Emma, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Yay. You can watch me and Emma playing with uh, Jadine and Colin Tamolin as our, our alternate on Team SCG for the standard Super League coming up. We're super excited about that. It's going to be awesome. I am so hyped for that. we got to crush some people. I am so hyped. But yeah, a lot of... Um, we I actually... We used to... My... I had a greyhound. Well, like, not me personally, but my family. Like when I was born, we had jelly bean. I, I love these people. Just love them. Eh. All right. And uh, might have thought this was a watery grave, but it's not. But that's okay. Um, jelly bean the greyhound was great. Jelly bean also jumped over a six foot fence and ran away. Well, you didn't really well, get well my them, parents I were at like work, it. and my sister and I, I guess, were at school or something. But. <clears throat> Get a large dog. I don't want a dog who's going to wreck my house. Like, that's kind of the thing is that, like, Nicole's... Well, I feel like greyhounds are a little too much energy. We have a nice size yard and everything, but I, I think not, they might be a little... It's not a big cool. yard. Like, all right, so Drown Catacomb really nice screwed us yard. here. Um, I meant to cast a Snapcaster. God damn it, I was talking. Sorry. Obviously, we should have cast Snapcaster. That was, that was stupid. Big dogs break less than small dogs. I mean, Nicole's sister has some, has some really big dogs, and they trash their entire house. No, bark and bark. I think uh, they meant bark. Bork, bork, bork. Yeah, I just misclicked. Yeah. I, should, I should have cast snack yesterday. Nicole's bothering me. Yes, I do that. Yep. Bork, bork, bork. Lambs can get pretty big. Um, I Honestly, I love my golden. If I could find a retriever, I think retriever would be my first choice like a retriever mix though um a lot of purebreds actually tend to have more health problems because of like not i don't want to say like inbreeding but like their bread like to keep it pure like a purebred you have to keep it within a certain uh that's the ugliest magic card i've ever seen in my entire that's life that's actually terrible it looks like vomit it looks like someone vomited onto the computer screen it looks like somebody burned it it looks like somebody like took a lighter and just okay that was pretty bad for us, obviously. Um, they have three cards left. We might, be, might have interest in a mine rot. That was a pretty brutal Searing Blaze. It's also a pretty weird Searing Blaze, honestly. Like, they saw Academy Ruins and our islands and stuff. Like And Dot Scour. I don't know the Great Rebel. All right, we have to counter this. Um... Counter this, Paith. Uh, Holy crap, dude! He's falling. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like those tails. Nicole's yeah, golden's are sister has. They have two black labs, and their tails are like. They're like little whips. Yeah, it's, I hate them. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't I like still, them. I think they're, they're. Jackson's still my buddy. I don't like them. They're big, dumb, smelly, stupid dogs. And they've wrecked their house. Yes. They've wrecked well, it. Well, goldens are smaller than labs. Uh, and they are, they're like smart and easy to train, but they're very dumb too. So it, they're kind of great. They just want to be loved. And I love that. So that's all I want in life, honestly. Filthy mudblood dogs. All right, so. The dogs are great. I'm having them discard. I mean, we need to cast this Vendillion click and attack them. I don't think that, like, if we, if we charm them, they just, like, Boros charm us in response. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a disaster. We're just gonna say go. Try and get this click into play and just hope to God we can negate enough burn spells to kill them. Nothing. No, you definitely, yeah, you definitely don't, definitely, stage. you do not, definitely do not, you're, obs you guys are obsessed with mine rots, all right? Mine rot sucks. Like, we need to clock them. Yeah, they they actually didn't do anything. It probably is another Searing Blaze, I imagine. I mean, like, that'd just be ridiculous. They just played another land. They didn't do anything the end of turn. They had two I mean, like, so we're, so we're just never going to play the creature for, like, the rest of the game? No, no, like, play the creature. I mean, we'll take we, a block. We, could, so just, we, could, we could, could just draw two. I mean, we could take the Searing. No, you can't take the Searing Blaze. They could just play it. If we mine rot them and they cast the Boros Charm response, I guess response, you negate the... It's just a disaster. It's awful. Um, I don't mind drawing two. I don't. I think they would have. Wouldn't they have done it? 
don't know. When did they have done what? Boris Charm? Yeah. At yeah. the end of last turn? Yeah. She might, might have been holding the, the foothills for, for uh, Searing Blades. Might be holding Skullcrack, like, defensively. Like, not really any rush, you know? Sure. Yeah, we're not mind rotting. Okay. Um, I do want to, I think I do want to cast the, the click with the gate back up, though. So we're going to just draw. Yes, yeah, so we're going to, I'm, I'm keeping an eye. I have a, uh, I'm, I, as I said, I'm serious. I'm following all of, like, the rescues and the sanctuaries and the shelters, everything around our, our new house. There's actually the, um, the ASPCA is building a, 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 a shelter, like, a half mile from our house. Um, it's not going to be ready until, like, I feel well, like survived. next year sometime. Come on. But. Can't take two for this land. Uh... Well, what, what else are you going to do this turn? Nothing. You're not going to throw a scour or nothing? We can like, throw a scour in front of the Tassiger. Oh, I don't hate that. Then you draw, and you never know if you end up drawing an untap. So, it doesn't matter. Like, we we, we set our mana, so it doesn't, sure. it doesn't change anything. All right. All right, like, our cards are great. Let's draw more of them. Sure. All right. This is the Helix. It's fine. Boar Charm is four damage at six. That's that's pretty relevant. I think we're going to counter this. Yes. Um... Being at seven is a lot better than six. And now we have Gear Hulk, honestly, to just like. Now Gear Hulk Mine Rod them is reasonable. So yeah, we're going to counter this. Wait, don't. Right. Good, good catch. Good catch. Thanks. So there are so many puppies that need homes. Trust me. Like, and I. Like, I. When I say puppies, I, I don't mean they have to be a puppy either. I don't mind a doggy. A doggy is still a puppy, though. That's a really good draw. Spell Snare is really good in this matchup. Yes. Um, we'll see what happens here. If they cast any instant, we're going to negate it with our Gear Hulk. Yeah. Easy Gear Hulk. Dark Juggler, thanks for watching, my friend. I mean, I guess I'm not that worried. Wait, can you not wait Griff to your cage? You're correct. You are correct. I'm going to That would have been useful information about six seconds ago. I know. I tried. I did try. Yeah, okay. And they, my, my worry here is that they have the, the searing blaze that they can, I feel like that's probably why they haven't cracked. We just can't cast it, right? Yeah, so that was that was terrible. Might have thrown this game away. I was talking about Gearhawk for a while and no one said anything, right? Taz got it. Uh he let uh, the chat was chat was trying to stop me. Holy crap, dude. Wait, was it gonna let me cast that? No, right? There's no way. Alright, well that definitely could have lost us the game for sure. We spell snare that, play click. We're probably in good shape. Now we're probably dead. The problem is like Yeah, here's this here's this searing blazing shark that they've been waiting for. Yeah. No? Problem is like the card's just so blank. Mm -hmm. So you just don't you just, you just don't think about it for so long. Alright, we're not like dead. I mean, we actually could be dead right have, here. Yeah, they have one card in hand. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Alright. I don't know. No. Searing Blaze? Alright, I mean, we might have lost that game anyway, honestly, but that's fine. That's pretty annoying. It's a bad way to end. Yeah. Like, we definitely could have lost that game anyway, regardless. Like, it may just drop, obviously just drop Burn Spell or two and we're dead. Um, we, so we, like, we, we would have Spell Snared the, the Boros Charm, and then we would have clicked them at some point, and then, um, the click has to, the click and the Gearlock have to race just the top of their deck. And we were at, like, at an effective yeah, 10. We were at an effective 4. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that this matchup, I mean, it's, game 1 seems really bad against Burn. Game 2 and 3 seem okay. The store matchup seems fine. I think we got a little, I mean, like, Andrew played very well in that match, honestly. So, playing against Andrew Shroud, who's a store master. So, 
Um, yeah, but overall, this is by far my, 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 my favorite version of his deck. Uh, we played four leagues of Esper Control for Amalek. Huge donation bonus. Amalek, thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very much. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, changes I would make going forward. Um, I actually like the Think Twice a lot. Like, um, the Thought Scours... Hmm. Invoke the Divine, yes, last chance. Um... Deck tech, huh? We can do that too. Hey Jim, I am Why go to sleep? I'll do more deck techs. This weekend and I need your help. Okay, well, I got you. Um But yeah. Thought Scour was fine. It's possible the deck wants like a second Tassiger. Um I'm not sure. It's close. If you want to play Asper Charm, this is the way to do it in my opinion. So um, Cyborg was pretty good. Maybe a little more for Burn. Tidely is also pretty sweet. Um, I mean, you were playing it main before, but now you're playing more of a flash. Right, exactly. Like, it's it's good to protect Planeswalkers and stuff, sure. but not really great in the main deck otherwise. Not really sure, honestly. But if you're looking to cast Asper Charm, this is probably the deck to do it in. So, any questions in chat? Go nuts. Thoughts on the down. Three and two, really close to a four one. Downfall might not be necessary. I could see cutting. I could see. Cut. I also wanted the fourth, the seventh removal spell. Also, um, is there an open this weekend? Uh, no. No. Um, so maybe add a removal spell, cut a downfall. He's off this weekend. I would like a, a second busted alliance on the board. We can cut like it's Mother's Day. Probably cut like the stroke, honestly, and then. Yes, busted alliance good against boggles. So is yeah. explosives. Yeah, I would say that yes, so Surgical overperformed, and Tiling was pretty good. But is Cast Down Modern playable? It's not necessary. I don't think Anguish on Making is necessary. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got to be a Disenchant, if not Anguish on Making, then. Sure. Uh oh. Did I sneeze? Was I faking? I don't know. Oh, All no, right. that was Tribute to Hunger? Mm, nah, I like that one. I don't know. Um. Okay, cool. So, that's the league. Uh, thank you for watching. For watching on YouTube, make sure you follow. The YouTube will end and the stream will continue. So, thanks for watching on YouTube. Make sure you uh, sub to the channel. And say bye, Nicole.